Thank you. Uh, hello. So the the real purpose of uh, the grant uh, that we have received from the Health Leadership Academy uh, is to enable uh, the technology which we have been developing over the past three years to reach the proper target audience. So before I talk about that part of the project, which is critical, I just want to go back to the technology itself and what we're trying to do. So over the past three years, uh, aided and abetted by an extremely capable team highly motivated uh, group of students and research assistants. We've been developing uh, embedded technologies for people with Parkinson's disease, PD. By embedded, I mean technologies that they can use in their own homes. And these are technologies which are based on interaction with music and dance. Uh, we know uh, from research over the past 20 years that music is extremely beneficial for people with PD. It's something to do with the metrical framework which allows people with PD who have particular problems with initiating movements to uh, plan and execute the movements within a particular arc or trajectory, uh, which is predictive. And it's the, the framework which music and dance creates which seems to be really, really helpful. So the project, you know, it's okay to have that sort of idea, but as soon as you, you have this idea, right, we're going to make this technology which we can embed in people's homes, you realize that you need help. And the great thing about Mac as a campus is that there are people with, who are highly motivated and they've got really interesting diverse sets of skills in different faculties. I'm in the, the faculty of uh, humanities. Uh, well, I'm an associate of psychology, neuroscience, and behavior. Uh, and that gives me an access, access to an extremely uh, interesting stream of, of well-educated students who have sort of statistics background and experimental knowledge. Uh, but you need to go to the engineering faculty. So we have a, a, a collaboration with Professor Mike Noseworthy in engineering. We have a collaboration with Dr. Rick Paulseth in health sciences. And the, uh, the purpose of these different collaborations is because uh, a, an embedded technology requires these different elements to be brought together, whether it's programming skills, whether it's statistical skills, whether it's knowledge about music and the arts, uh, to be encapsulated into a single application which can then be put into people's homes. The other thing about putting something into someone's home is that things like music and dance really, uh, if you want someone with PD to do these, uh, they tend to go to like a weekly class or once every two weeks. And that simply isn't enough to get the benefits of regular engagement with the music and dance. They have to do it every day. So the other idea of having this embedded technology is that it's something that they can do on a really regular basis so they can start to get the benefits of this type of intervention. The other really interesting thing about the technology which we've developed is uh, they, they have a motion sensing camera. So the motion sensing camera watches the uh, person, the user, and that allows the system to adapt. Uh, the system is based on dance avatars. So imagine that you're looking at a big TV screen, and you have your, your own personalized dance avatar sitting in front of you, and they're doing certain type, types of dance movements, and that you're mimicking them. Now, the thing, the thing about PD is that it's characterized by huge movement differentials. Some people who you hardly can tell have got uh, the disease, with very minor symptoms, right through to people who are in wheelchairs. So if you're developing a technology, one size is not going to fit all. It has to be adaptive, and that's the purpose of the motion sensing cameras. It can watch the movement abilities of the user and adapt in real time the dance avatar to uh, change the expressivity of the dance avatar. That's really the core of it. The other really interesting thing about motion sensing cameras is that not only can they be used to create this interactive technology, but they can also be used to record movement data. So we have ethics clearance to record the movement data of our users, to encrypt it and send it over the internet, which means that you then not only have an embedded technology, but you have an embedded research tool for doing longitudinal studies. And that's really critical for something like PD. Because most studies with PD involve the person, the patient, coming into the lab and doing some exercises, maybe some stride exercises. Certain uh, clinical measures may be taken. But then they go back out into the community again, they back, go back home for another few weeks, and then they come back into the lab. When they come into the lab, they perform. 
So you don't get that really ecologically valid data from a day-to-day -day basis. So what the Health Leadership Academy grant has enabled us to do is that in 2016, we signed a, a, a title license agreement with Microsoft to be able to put this technology onto the Microsoft's global store so people anywhere in the world with PD could download it and start to use it. But we don't know anything about business. We don't know anything about launching a health application. But obviously people in uh, business school do. So this grant has enabled us to work with Marvin Ryder and other p folks in, in uh, uh, the Degree School of Business to think carefully about how do you position this uh, technology for the right audience? How do you get the message out there? What uh, endorsements do you need? What, you know, do you use social media? Do you use daytime TV? Do you use print media? Do you use the internet? What is the best strategy to make sure that people know and are educated about this? So rather than just dumping it on on an app store somewhere and letting it sit there. and Maybe it'll be discovered, maybe it won't be. How do you actually develop a proper health leadership strategy to make sure that people get to know about the technology?